Welcome back to another video. Mm. So good. I've mastered the matcha. If you're not new around here, you know that I'm a big matcha fan. I rarely drink coffee now. Like I just, I love matcha. It's so creamy, so smooth. It doesn't give you that caffeine crash that coffee sometimes does. So yeah, I absolutely love it. I actually added this marine collagen into my coffee and it's by the brand MD Hair. Um, and I've also been taking their, their hair supplements as well. And when I say like it has got my hair feeling the healthiest and strongest that it has ever felt. This is my real hair at the front and then I've got crochet at the back. It's just been feeling like so strong and healthy. Like I don't think my hair has felt this good since like pre pre baby because I did have a lot of postpartum shedding especially at the front of my hair and what's really cool about MD hair is they provide the things to put inside your body to make sure your hair has the building blocks to grow healthy and strong but they also provide custom hair care to put on your hair so that's the shampoo and the conditioner and MD hair are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So MD Hair is actually the world's first medical grade hair growth treatment. Their products are clinically proven, they are sustainable and they are customised to the exact type and cause of your hair loss. One of the things that I love is that they take a 360 approach. So not only do they provide the customised hair wellness supplements to support your hair growth from the inside out, but you also get the customised hair shampoo, customised hair conditioner and customised hair care serum. And I love the way the shampoo and the conditioner smells. It just, oh, it's gorgeous. It's just everything that you want on a wash day. So to get started with MD hair, you can just complete a short quiz and provide a photo of your scalp. And then their AI technology analyzes your profile and creates a customized treatment link with all the right personalized ingredients just for you. Like I said, my hair has just been feeling so thick and also healthy like of course length is a focus for me but beyond that I wanted my hair to feel just healthy and to feel thick and it really has been feeling that way if you want to try MD hair for yourself and support our channel you can use my promo code which will be displayed on the screen and will also be in the description box to get your first month of customized products at 70% off Yes, guys, I said 70% off. And I will also drop all of the links in the description box as always. Thank you to MD Hair for sponsoring today's video. How MD Hair, I feel like especially as black women, it's so easy just to like stick our hair under a protective style, which praise the Lord for protective hairstyles. And I love the versatility that we can have, but it just does something to you knowing that your hair is healthy underneath whatever style you're doing like it, it really it just does something to your confidence so definitely check out md hair for yourself um but today is really going to be a i guess like a little reset vlog the house is in desperate need of some cleaning so i'm going to take you guys along with that hopefully it can provide you with some motivation just to get your space all the way together i find oftentimes when i feel like just mentally like foggy or cluttered a really good first step is just physically cleaning my space and I find literally as I'm doing that process I find that my mind is clearing as well and of course it just sets you up really well for an amazing week ahead 
also need to do Malika's hair so I'm gonna take you guys along with that it's probably gonna be over two days we need to do some shopping as well I don't like cramming my resets into like one day and then you finish the day feeling completely stressed and tired so yeah gonna enjoy my matcha take a little pause take a little beat and then I'm gonna use my my weekly planner which you could check out just to plan what my reset is gonna look like so yeah let's go ahead make a plan and do that but it is actually father's day on this day that we are filming so we wanted to do something special for daddy so we made him some tea in bed and now we're about to make some pancakes that sound good are you grateful for daddy it's busy playing but anyway let's make some yeah you're grateful for daddy <laughs> You did this. Yeah. You did this. Oh, you're adding to it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wanna add some more? Thank you. So we have undone Malika's hair. It's getting really long. Damn. She's due a nap soon, so I think um, I'll let her nap and then we will wash and condition her hair and probably plait it tomorrow. Look how long your hair's getting! <laughs> Chew your food. Look how long your hair's getting, Daddy. Big afro. Oh. 
back from Costco. Looks like you bought a few things. I can't even do a haul because there's just too much. But yeah, took your advice. A couple of you guys said you should go to like a wholesale. Definitely save money because all of this, like this cart thing is literally for, it was like $450. But I got stuff that like we'll use like for a while. So I think it was good value for money. That Costco shop really tired me out. Like no one talks about how exhausting going to Costco is. This is what the pantry cupboard is looking. I've never seen our pantry cupboard so full. On one hand, I'm like, yay, we have so much. On the other hand, like the minimalist in me is like screaming. But this is all stuff that we're gonna use. So that's the pantry cupboard. Also bought like a lot of like meats, which this, nothing else is gonna save me money, it's this. And I didn't realize Costco do it where like, they have like the meat individually wrapped into like how much you'd use so i just portioned them out we bought salmon as well i just cut it up so that it would be in the portions that we would need so yeah that's gonna save us a lot of money because meat is obviously pretty expensive what else oh yeah we have the well it's kind of a pantry but <laughs> the best that we have and this is mainly just apple juice and water which is the main drink that we drink got my barista oat milk which that was a bargain i think i paid like ten dollars for like uh one two three four five six of them and usually like one is five dollars got some olive oil so yeah it was a trip well done i still need to like finish cleaning the house but i'll probably just do that off camera and then take you guys along to something a little bit more interesting <laughs> tomorrow because yeah i just want to get on hopefully finish today so i can start the week with just like a clear space i was supposed to buy get like a little chair like for our bedroom but for some reason it didn't deliver so hopefully it comes tomorrow and i can show you that as well what's going on here uh oh it doesn't go in there try again maybe the other way around She's at a stage where she just loves putting things in other things. So I just got these little suction cups. I don't know if they're like, I think they are for babies. It said like bath suction cups or something like that. But I thought they would be fun for her to like practice like spatial awareness and figuring it out. This is her first time playing with it. Yeah. And the amazing thing with kids is like, even if like, like, uh, we have a Love Ever subscription and there'll be toys that we give her and for like the first week or something like she won't really know what to do and then like you keep giving it to her and she's like completely mastered it so pretty cool close how about if we try this and then we try uh, this and then we try this and then we try this yay Right. You wanna go? I'll put them in order for you so they I'm not even gonna show you my new chair. So this is how my new little chair is looking like. It's in like this right corner nook of the room. I ordered a side table from Amazon that's coming and I'm just gonna get like a little throw. I really wanted it just to be like a cozy reading slash Bible study corner because right now my Bible study happens right there which it's okay but I just want like a dedicated space that feels like a place for me to just read study the word and obviously like get on with some work so it is from Wayfair I will leave a link down below it is smaller than I was expecting it to be um but it kind of works for me because i'm i'm short but if you have like really long legs or like like you're not like <coughs> small and you want something that's like a little bit more roomy maybe not the best one but um i really like it um it fits the vibe that i was going for and because our room isn't huge i wanted something that didn't take up a whole bunch of space um but yeah i think we're gonna do like a quick mini q a we haven't done one of those in a while just a couple of questions that we've seen like in comments and stuff to kind of just like update you on where you guys and where we're at so yeah winston's gonna come along i have not done malika's hair yeah it's been one of those weeks i've just been trying to like get like live admin stuff done you saw that went to costco i've been cleaning the house um and malika's hair is on that list but it's also nice just to let her hair breathe so okay 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 so just to wrap up this video we thought we'd do a 
quick Q&A because we haven't actually done a Q&A. We used to do a lot of Q&A videos back in the day. Yeah, let us know if you guys want another updated. Maybe go, go through more questions in detail. Mm -hmm. But this is just going to be like a quick fire. Some of the more common questions that we've seen come up recently. Yeah, ones that yeah, we've just seen like in comments. So question one, have you ever been in the pool with her? Malaga, I guess. Can she go in? That water looks so tempting. So yes, Malaga has been in the pool. I think you guys probably saw her in the last vlog or the one before that. She's got like a little floater which she just loves. Like she could literally stay there like all afternoon. Like she loves it. She gets in there and the legs start kicking. Yeah. So, so she, yeah, she does get in the water. Sometimes, like, usually, like, I'll just let her, like, chill with her flow to do her own thing. And then I'll also just, like, carry her and we'll kind of, like, swim together and just give her a little bit more freedom. But, yeah, we're really, really grateful to have that pool, especially in the warmer months. It's just been really good for her. Like, she's been getting, like, stronger, doing new things. And I think, like, being in the water has a big part to play in that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, she can go in. She has been in and she loves it okay great content family how is mom doing i missed her presence oh. i believe they're talking about your mom mm -hmm. malika's grandma and funny you should ask because she's actually going to be joining us again y'all are in for a surprise yeah she's going to be coming probably in about a month yeah also so for those of you who are big grandma fans mm -hmm. then look out Keep yeah. watching our videos because she'll be back very, very soon. Definitely. And she also has her own YouTube channel, so you can also check that out. Um, if you just type Dev Ronko Nogu, you should find it. But we'll also link it. Who chooses your background music? It's very nice. Shout out to Jamal. Jamal. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah, so. He's our video editor. He's our video editor and like the secret third member of the Clements yes. team. Mm -hmm. And a big shout out to Jamal as well because he chooses the background music but he also does so much more. Like without him, there's no way that we'd be able to like maintain the consistency that we have been able to on YouTube for like the past two years. Obviously yeah. things happen, like we aren't <laughs> always like on our uploads but it would be way less consistent if we didn't have Jamal. So he does like the music, the editing, the memes, all of that stuff. So mm -hmm. big, big help. And show Jamal some love in the comments. Yes. All right. Okay. Next one says, awesome videos you guys are putting together. Just curious, what <laughs> is that you're using to wash your fruits and veggies? I'm a bit of a health freak. I try to get pointers and tips as I go along. So what are you using to wash your veggies? I've seen, I saw like a ridiculous amount of comments that were like, are you washing your vegetables with like washing up liquid no i'm not washing my vegetables washing up liquids it's a trader joe's fruit and vegetable wash i think you can get it from other places but the one that i use is just from trader joe's and it's just i think mainly it's like vinegar and bicarbonate of soda and like i think like a couple of essential oils like lemon or something like that um so it's just really good for getting the pesticides the pesticides out as well as like yeah. with food like even i'm not like big like if if a, a vegetable says that it's been washed or like triple washed i'm actually okay with it but when it has when it doesn't say that like usually there's still pesticides that are there especially like if you're out in the groceries and you're just picking up loose vegetables they've yeah. obviously like been touched and, and processed like probably been in like a huge barrel things like that so yeah you don't have to buy a fruit and vegetable wash i've seen just people use like a uh, white vinegar and bicarbonate of soda when it works just the same you just have to make sure you rinse it off well so you don't get a weird taste afterwards but um yeah that's what i use okay one more question may say i love watching you cook but I wonder, do you know how to cook Zimbabwean food? Yes, I do know how to make Zimbabwean food. We'll insert one of the vlogs like somewhere here. This is what we've got. We've got sadza here, or ugali, and then we've got some greens, and then we've got some green beans. Where I've made Zimbabwean food. I haven't yet in Atlanta just because um, the ingredients, I haven't found anywhere that does like the maize meal that we use. Although I think we have some in the house, my mum left some, but like meat as well, like oxtail, things like that. Um, a couple of our friends, um, Jennifer and um, Xavier, they told us about an African shop that they go to, oh, yes. um, which is not too, too far out. So I think I'm gonna try that and get like some seasoning, some meat, all of that good stuff. So coming right up. <laughs> Yeah, and those of you who like cook African food and you live in ATL, yes. let us know in the comments where you get your ingredients. Mm -hmm. We definitely 
that's something that we want to do we just need to know where to get the stuff from yeah exactly so yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was a pretty chill one like it was pretty much just us getting it together i feel like you need those weeks sometimes of just like handling business like yeah. life admin stuff and that's what it really was for us and i can't be the only one like if i know i'm gonna do like a deep clean of the house and like just life admin stuff i have to do that first and then do like my beauty stuff so tomorrow yeah. i'm gonna get my nails done and top up like my body care stuff um so that'd be nice and you need to get your hair cut. I need to get my hair cut. It's, it's time. It's been a minute. It's, it's been a minute. It's time. <laughs> Should we go put my life to bed? Yes. Sorry. All right. Sorry. See you, fam.